Today, I'm gonna to show you how to tell stories when capturing portrait photos. What's cracking, boys and girls? It's your boy, Melly K. A lot of times, we want to express our creativity in a more elaborate way, right? And what's the easiest way to do that? Tell stories, of course. So I'm gonna give you three tips to get you started. Let's get it. Come up with an idea. You can either start with a motif or a concept, whether it's at a coffee shop or at a park, that's always a good starting point. For me personally, I listen to a lot of music, so I will often draw out a lyric or two that really resonates with me and use that as a starting point. The other alternatives, of course, are browsing through photo sharing platforms. And no, I'm not talking about Instagram. I'm talking about like Pinterest or even through design websites such as Abduzito. For me personally, I browse through Behance to get inspired. So once you have the theme down pat, it's time to think about selection of photos. It helps to shape the story a lot better by having accompanying photos to further solidify the story. So think about what sort of actions or what kind of emotions the person should be feeling. So for example, what are they drinking? What are they doing with their hands? Or simply what sort of pace they're walking at? So we should think about the five senses. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. The idea is to capture these actions, kind of like a B-roll for a video. We use these to support the main video, right? So just like making a video, we should consider a wide shot to establish the location, a medium shot for action slash dialogue, aka the main shot, and a close-up shot to draw out the emotions from our audience. Now I know this is gonna sound dumb, but use words to tell a story. Support the story further by providing a caption or a dialogue. And often you'll find you'll have to make it relatable. Like I said before, my biggest inspiration is music. And that's because I draw a lot of emotions from real life experiences that the music reminds me of. There you have it. Those are some of the things that I do to tell stories through my portraits. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell button. And be sure to check out my website for Lightroom presets or to arrange a one-on-one -on -one private tutorial. Doesn't matter if you're interstate or overseas. We can set something up. And if you're not following me on Instagram, it is at underscore mellow.k. That's where I post most of my work. Until next time, peace out and stay mellow.